I'm ordering... Can I order bubble tea? <laughs> I want to have like 10 bubble teas. So this one is cake, taro. Mm, I'm not fond of it at all. <laughs> Good. I mean the bubbles of course by now I'm sick of the bubbles. I don't want it anymore. And my grand finale here. My grand finale. This is just a mini instruction on how the Intuitive Extended Plus um, reading works. If you are familiar already on how it is, you can skip th right through your reading. So first we have um, the four elements here, which is going to be um, water, fire, air, and earth. Each I will pick one zodiac, and once I picked one in the Extended, depending on your zodiac, I will read it base from it. If you are an Aries, I'll read from Aries to Virgo. If I pick a Virgo, Aries to Cancer, I'll pick Aries to Cancer. Those are all four separate readings, okay, that I will be doing in the extended. And then this is totally separate also. So basically there's five readings that we are be we are gonna be doing in the extended. So the way it works also, if it's like if you are just focusing on your sun sign, you know, it's like I wouldn't suggest that. I would suggest having an open mind because all this zodiac will still resonate with you. Remember, if I can read you from the screen, then all this will still connect with your situation. So we are trying to get as much um, scenario in the extended and as much as different um, zodiacs also in the extended reading so that it can be catering to your zodiac. All right, now that that's uh, been said, we'll proceed to your reading. Hi Cancerians, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Um, a month has passed. A year, <laughs> I think has passed out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so someone wants to reach out, either, either you, but I feel like it's both of you, okay? Wants to reach out to each other to make things stable. Okay, let's just, let's not jump into conclusion. But yes, it can lead to a relationship. I just want to, you know, set the bar low so that you don't go, you know, so, so when it happens, then you're going to be surprised, okay? But both people trying to work the relationship, I really feel it's towards long term. But I want to, again, downplay it. Maybe it's just reaching out. But I really see, okay? I'm contradicting myself. <laughs> so that you don't go there, okay? But yeah, that's what I'm saying, okay? You understand me, okay? My <laughs> lingo over there. They want serious, you want something serious. Both of you want something serious and both of you are gonna reach out to each other. Reach out, you can be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? All these people get a separate reading in the extended. How are you? Good morning. And if you are watching in premiere, okay? I'm very, very thankful for making time. Okay, be dealing with a Cancerian, okay? And for always tuning in regularly, okay? Let's see here, we got Taurus, okay? And last one here, Leo. Okay, so those are the zodiac. Separate reading and extended. All right, so there is that energy reaching out towards you. I feel like it's very positive. Okay, I feel like um, if it's a movie, I, you know, it's like you know that movie, like The Mist or something like that. Like the whole time you have you you didn't have anything to be scared of. Okay. Style of all the movie that you will, <laughs> you will reference. Could have been serendipity, could have been the notebook. Why is the miss? Because there has been some confusing things in the lake. <laughs> and only to realize there's nothing there. Okay. So you have nothing to fear. This is what I'm sensing between you know you and this person. That's light. Ooh, Aries and Taurus got it. Ooh. Gemini got amazing. Yeah, if you're connecting with a Gemini, oh you need to watch your reading. Mm -hmm. Um I feel like there's there's a sense of balance now for both of you. Okay. Um the other person has already finally finished who like you no know, looking for who they are. That sense of who am I in the world, you know? They're already done with that one. They're already facing the world. Ooh, King of Coins, natural uh, you know, seventh house Capricorn. Yes, daddy. Daddy weighed a big um no, this is a big bank account. Wink wink. Oh. <laughs> they have a the King of Wands has a different big, okay, Mr. Big. King of Pentacles, what do you got to offer to you? Something stable. Yes? Mm -hmm. If this is you, 
um, you know, it's like, and you're feeling, you know, you're feeling abundant with the king of coins. Having a good health is also king of coins um, because they do have a very fancy gym, Pilates, yoga instructor, because that's a king of coins. Okay, because they they can afford, you know, it's like healthy living. Because remember the Nine of Pentacles? You remember that? Okay, the single. Okay, they're healthy, right? King of Pentacles. It's the same thing. All right, you're connecting with someone who's very confident. Mm -hmm. King of Pentacles is a CEO, you know, it's like a business owner, that kind of energy. Someone who is, um, who has already thought about, you know, it's like retirement, which is now ready to settle. Mm -hmm. King of Coins wants to settle. Ooh, is it a Scorpio? Mm -hmm. Is this you going through? Someone here is, has, um, for others, I feel like it's called uh, over, uh, overnight success. Okay? It, this person makes it look like overnight success, but it's not. Okay, um, because they had to go through something difficult in their life. This is someone who did some sort of exchange. Okay, when I say exchange, it's not like you know juju. It's more like their commitment to their coins is what they did. Okay, so they basically suffered just to get where they're at. Self-made king of coins with a death card, because that's what I'm sensing here. Your transformation. Someone here could be transforming their their business. You're changing your business. You're changing work. Also, I'm seeing here. Um, King of Pentacles with a death card because it's, it's the coins. The coins are changing. You could also be just, you know, moving from one bank to another. King of Coins with a death card. If you're connecting with a Scorpio, um, I feel like you're scared. You don't know what their intentions is because they appear to be like, right now, oh, sorry, my tongue is growling. My God, sounds like Lake Placid, you know. Have you seen that movie? <laughs> the Loch Ness Monster. I'm hungry, guys. Okay. It's been months I haven't eaten just for Instagram. Okay, King of Pentacles with a death card. So it has been big changes right now okay, between the two of you. And this Scorpio, again, you're scared. My tummy grumbled is scary. Okay, Because um, you don't know if they're going to end it with you or you're going to end it with this person. Because this the scythe, scythe, right? Mm -hmm. Sickle also is called, right? Okay. So there can be some changes with love right now. And I got a lovers. <laughs> Changes with love. Can be done with Gemini over there. Um, so you won't be single. <laughs> That's how I drop it. Yeah, you won't be single. <laughs> because sudden changes in the eighth house. Like you could have been intimate because eighth house is also that intimate connection. But fifth house is the regular sex. And you want to go extra. That's a death card. That's the eighth house. Okay, casual sex is the fifth house. Um, intimate, passionate, kundalini awakening sex is the um, eighth house. So you did the dirty, now get ready with a soulmate. Why did you do the dirty? That's why you should never do the dirty. Did you listen to your grandma? Ask your grandma why your grandma doesn't have a lot of soulmates lingering around them. Because grandma wasn't being an HOE. They had to think about other things, what to put on the table, not swiping left and right. You got me. Okay. Now this whole era of sleeping around is now woke. Why did you mix your karma? Here it is. You know, be single anymore. Mm-hmm. Death card. <laughs> this person is falling in love with you. You don't even know. It's fast because sudden changes. Someone here was just all about their coins, all about their work. All of a sudden now, not about that. Mm-hmm. Not about that lifestyle. Mm. Do not go to that eighth house <laughs> intimacy. It will change your life. Page of Cups. Mm-hmm. This is you. You're liking someone now. They can be far from you. You're dreaming of this person. You want to offer your cup? Why did you offer first the other cup? The double Ds. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't have double D. I got negative Ds. Because <laughs> you're offering... Like, look at this blossoming bosoms over there. Because the concern is the bosom, right? Okay, chest area. That's your region. Death card. Scorpio is that region below the belt. Mm -hmm. So you guys have that, um, you know, so now you know astrology, basically, what part it governs. Major cup is can be a Piscean. Six of Wands, good looking, you're good looking. Mm -hmm. What do you get when you F around is you fall in love now. So you are just basically grazing around, you know, it's like, I'm seeing my options over here. You met this person one time. Now, you're attached. Now, they're attached. Mm. 
Where is it going though? Because Six of Wands is supposed to go to success, which I'm seeing it here. Everybody's just going a turn around. Either separation, oh, because Saturn is going direct, remember? So, Saturn going direct in September. So karma, right? Whoever are ruling, mean, it rules karma. So even relationship, relationships are karmic. If you guys are meant to be together, boom. If you guys are not meant to be together, ooh, and I said Saturn, the world card. Meant to be together. Okay, drops mic. Never do the dirty. This is what you learn now. You guys will be together. Plain and simple, peanut butter and jelly. Because the world card is here. You learn, they learning. A full shift. One Saturn goes direct. I believe Saturn goes direct um, on the 18th, if I'm not mistaken, but I will do a separate um, <clears throat> astrology report over that one. So make, make sure you hit the bell. Hit the bell. Now, no, no. Tap the bell, okay? Because this person, definitely, you tapped it, not the bell. <laughs> you love this person, they love you. Plain and simple. They're going to come towards you. It's a long-distance relationship. They want to express their feelings. You didn't see this person coming towards you this fast? Oh, they're going to go fast. I'll see you guys again, Cancer, and I'm loving this for you guys. You deserve this kind of passionate love. We'll see the commitment, if it is. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Bye. Yeah? Beyond commitment. This is your karmic partner. When I say karmic, your soulmate, love. From single, nine of cups, your wish is being granted. You won't be single for long. This is your person. The moon card.